Alright lads, so today we're going to be viewing Inform Grzycki of Stad Rene in the league you earn. So please smash a like if you do enjoy, it really does help me out a lot. So Grzycki is 5 foot 11 tall, right foot, he's got medium medium work rates, 3 star weak foot and 3 star skills. Having a look at his in-games for you, his standouts is 92 sprint speed, 86 acceleration, 86 crossing, 85 shot power and 85 agility. We have also included all the upgrades over his non-informed, so you can compare all the upgrades to every single stat. So you can always pause it for a close look if you like. Now we were playing him in a 4-3-3 version 4 formation on the right wing, pairing him up with informed player and scream team boodaboos as well. So jumping into the gameplay now, now Inform Grzycki is a nice and pacey winger, got his 92 sprint speed so he can tear down that right edge, although I've got to say in my first game he did actually feel a little bit sluggish which was disappointing but I think I'm putting that down to lag because after the first game he did feel a lot lot better, back to decent pace, great at tearing down that right wing. He does actually have good dribbling and agility as well, so he's not all about pace down the wing. He is able to get inside, try his luck in the middle and try and get on goal. And he did actually manage to get himself a hell of a lot of chances in front of goal and did manage to bag a few goals from it as well. But I've got a feeling it could have been a lot more, considering he has 85 shot power. His shots didn't feel all that strong to me. They were on target, he wasn't missing the target, it was just they were getting saved a hell of a lot. But I think that probably might have had to do something with the AI keeper making wonder saves. He did get really unlucky. Uh, I really do think there is a lot more goals in Grzycki. Now he can also create for his teammates as well. Using that pace to get down the wing. Does have some cracking crossing on him as well. And did manage to bag himself a few assists. So very useful on that right wing for crossing into your striker. If you've got a big target man uh, in the middle. Definitely one to get on the right hand side. He is going to be able to set up a lot of goals with that crossing. So let's have a look at Infan Grzycki's performance stats. So in 9 games he did only score 4 goals but he did manage to grab 6 assists. So all the stats are on the left hand side, goals on the right. That position map does show you where his goals were scored and where those assists were created from as well. So overall we're going to be giving Infan Grzycki an 8.5 out of 10. Really good pace down that right wing as we said. Only has medium medium work rates though so I did have to put the getting behind player instruction on him to help him out a bit in the forward runs. I definitely suggest doing that when you get Grzycki if you want him to attack more. As we said excellent crosser so if you've got a good target man he is going to be brilliant at getting uh, the crosses in. Would be brilliant in a Polish side playing outside uh, Lewandowski in the middle that would be a great pairing to have. Now as we said his shooting wasn't that amazing but I think he did get unlucky with a lot of his chances. Certainly is a definite very useful winger to have. Nice and cheap as well around 12 to 16k is definitely worth a try at that pace especially if you can get him under 15k. I'd get him because he probably will rise in a couple of weeks as well so you're not going to be losing coins. You're probably going to be even making a few coins as for yourself as well. So thanks a lot for watching lads, hopefully you did enjoy the review, loads more videos to come, please smash like and subscribe if you're new to the channel, thanks a lot for watching, I really do appreciate it, cheers lads, see you later.